This problem says a plane flies at a speed of 600 kilometers per hour at a constant height of 10 kilometers. How rapidly is the angle of elevation to the plane changing when the plane is directly above a point 110 kilometers away from the observer? So let's say that our plane is at this point here and it's traveling in this direction at 600 kilometers per hour. and our observer is at this point over here, the angle of elevation to the plane would be theta in this triangle because that the observer is looking and it's being elevated. Remember, elevation is always going up. So you start at the horizontal and you go up to like how you would have to look at the plane. So the question is asking, the angle of elevation is changing at blank radians per hour. So what we're looking for is um, not just theta, but we're looking at how fast theta is changing. So that would be the derivative of theta. And because it's in a unit of radians per hour, that would mean it's d theta dt, because it'd be the derivative of theta with respect to time, or how fast theta is changing per certain amount of time. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. We also know that the plane is at a constant height of 10, uh, 10 kilometers. So this side, the height of the plane from the ground would be 10 kilometers. And we are looking for how rapidly it's changing when this side, this side length is 110 kilometers away. However, because the plane is moving in the horizontal direction, we're initially just going to call this x. We're going to plug in our 110 after using x, but because the plane is moving in this direction, we can't say that it's always 110. So we'll leave it as x for now. From here, we need to find a relationship between what we know. We know this opposite side length is 10, we have the adjacent side length is x, and we're, we know that this side length, we, or this angle we can call theta. So a relationship between an angle, an opposite side length, and an adjacent side length would be tangent. So we can say tangent of theta is equal to the opposite side, which is 10, over the adjacent side, which is x. So here we have a relationship between our variables. We're looking for d theta dt. So let's first solve for theta to make it easier to get d theta dt. So let's get this tan away from the theta by moving it to the other side and writing it as theta is equal to tan inverse of 10 over x. From here, we need to take our derivative, but keep in mind that our theta is, we're wanting to find d theta dt. So when we take the derivative of this, we are taking it with respect to t, but remember that x is also a variable with respect to t. So we're gonna use that um, in our evaluation of the derivative. So d theta dt is equal to the tangent inverse formula is the derivative of tan inverse of x is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared. So this formula is just a general common derivative formula that you can look up in a common derivative formula sheet. I will put a link to a good formula sheet down in the description if you'd like to take a look at that one. So to take our derivative, we need to first do the outside function, which is the tan inverse function, leaving the inside the same. So that'll be one over one plus the 10 over x will remain the same squared. But now we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside function using the chain rule. So using the chain rule, we would move the x to the numerator to make it x to the negative one. So then when we take the derivative of that, that would be negative 
10x to the negative 2, but then also keep in mind that the variable x is a function of time. So we also need to do kind of a double chain rule and multiply that by dx dt. So the variable x with respect to time. Okay, so now we've found our derivative. To find where the angle of elevation is changing, um, we have some variables that we can just plug in numbers for because we know that our x will be equal to 110. We also know our dx dt, that's how fast the this x side length is changing with respect to time, which we were told that that is 600 kilometers per hour. So we can just directly plug that in as well. Let me give myself a little bit of room. So plugging these numbers in, again, it's x is equal to 110 and dx dt is equal to 600. So plugging in those numbers, we get 1 over 1 plus 10 over x is equal to 110 squared times, I'll move the x back to the denominator just so it looks a little bit easier, 10 over 110 squared times our dx dt, which is 600. And plugging that into my calculator, I get 1 divided by, um, make sure to put a parentheses around this denominator to show that it's all in the denominator, 1 plus 10 over 110 squared. Let me just get that number so far. So this is equal to 0 0.991803. And then we multiply that by 10 divided by 110 squared is, well, and there's a negative out front. Negative, oh, let me just go ahead and multiply that by 600 as well. Negative 0 0.49. 5868, and then multiplying these two numbers together, we get negative 0 0.491803, but the problem asked us to round to three decimal places, so we'd round to the one, which is negative 0 0.492, and even though this answer is negative, I don't think they're wanting us to include the negative in the answer because um, it's only asking us how fast that the angle will be changing. It doesn't ask us to tell us which direction it will be moving. So I think that we can just plug that in as 0 0.492 as a positive answer. So I hope this question makes sense. And if you have any questions regarding this problem or regarding another homework question, feel free to leave that in the comments. Also, like and share with anybody who you think might find these videos useful. Thanks for watching.